Doctors' offices and hospitals are bracing for a potential wave of coronavirus patients. We're now seeing signs of those preparations underway, though many experts worry it won't be enough. Team 12's Joe Dana has the latest, joining us from the Valley Wise Medical Center in Phoenix. Joe? Hey guys, uh, I want to show you why medical experts are preparing for what could be difficult days ahead, both in doctor's offices and in hospitals like the one behind me. Take a look. These are predictive models created by the Harvard Global Health Institute that show the percentage of hospital beds in a given community that would be filled up during a surge of coronavirus patients. Anything in yellow, orange, or red, warmer colors, represents above 100% capacity. As you can see, if 40% of the population gets the virus over a 12-month period, which experts say is very possible, Arizona hospitals would be in the orange. If the virus spreads quicker, the situation would be worse. This is a sign of what may be to come. Tents going up outside St. Joe's Hospital near downtown Phoenix. Temporary structures that could play a role in helping the hospital accommodate a surge of patients. State Representative Andres Cano of Tucson warning in a tweet overnight, the state needs to take more drastic social distancing measures, writing, Arizona counties don't have adequate test kits. We don't have enough cotton swabs for testing. Tents will be erected at hospitals and clinics as soon as next week. Face masks, gloves, and robes for first responders and medical providers are almost non-existent. In response to the concerns, Governor Doug Ducey's office tells 12 News there is a national shortage of supplies. More protective gear for doctors arrived this week and more is on the way. Another indicator of preparedness, the number of breathing machines available. Here at the state's largest public hospital, they have about 40 ventilators, these high-tech machines that are so crucial to helping COVID-19 patients in serious condition. Right now at the hospital, about 20 of those machines are already in use for other patients. If we get that large surge, if that virus continues to spread through the community, we can quickly overwhelm healthcare systems with those patients. Dr. Michael White is chief medical officer at Valley Wise Health. He says when it comes to personal protective equipment, his staff has enough for today. Beyond that, it won't run out tomorrow. Dr. White also says this hospital, Valley Wise, the public hospital, is not putting up tents, but they are converting a wing of the hospital to handle an overflow of patients. In Phoenix, Joe Dana, 12 News.